they're gonna absolutely drop Slenderman like the expired YouTube trend that he is. <laughs> Come on, get up. There we go. Put up a fight. We're up those dukes. Now we're oh, talking. No, no, he got the elf. He got the elf. Don't run, Santa. Don't be afraid. You got this. I believe in you. Holy crap, this is actually gonna be a fight. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game that takes like six months to give us new units, but I only need like six minutes to make new hilarious, broken, overpowered units. Like, I know I've done this for the past couple episodes now, but once again, I really feel like I've outdone myself today. We'll start things off with the Lightning Archer. And like, I had to make this because I'm pretty sure this is a new weapon. Like, it's unique to the unit creator, and I, I would imagine it fires lightning, which doesn't sound all that crazy because that's been in tabs for ages, but you gotta realize that Zeus does that for 2,000. This guy only costs 280. So, like, instead of having two Zeuses, we get 17 lightning archers firing into a group of everyone's favorite little lightning rods, the hobbits. <laughs> Alright, guys, they're coming. Don't let them penetrate the ranks. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if the lightning would bounce around or if the arrows would just stick in them, but it doesn't seem to be all that lethal. They're definitely coming, boy. How are their little hearts not exploding? Oh, I should have known that they would be easily outnumbered and bum rushed. Come on, lightning archers, you got this. You guys are so cool. You look like the neon faction. I want the neon faction back. Oh, the nostalgia. Yeah, they're getting absolutely worked. Well, in the bet you guys wish those wings were more than cosmetic now. <laughs> oh, never mind. They're actually getting them. Is it, is it kind of actually going to work out? Yeah, there you go. Just barely. I mean, they were not only outnumbered, but also outvalued. So that was pretty impressive. In a past episode, we discovered that the chariot is, like, somehow resistant to electricity. I, I don't fully understand how, I, I just assume that the horse is made of rubber or something like that, but Zeus had a really, really hard time taking these things down. Like, there'd be lightning bolts sticking out of their horsey tits and they don't care. But maybe a lightning arrow would be more effective than a lightning bolt? There's only one way of finding out. Unless these things really are completely insulated. Okay, the arrows do seem to hurt. It might be quantity over quality here, but... Okay, I'm down for it. So they do have quite a few advantages over Zeus. I don't suppose these things would be powerful enough to short-circuit a tank, could they? Like, it's not exactly a Tesla tank. And I, I mean, Tesla like Elon Musk, not Tesla like Command and Conquer. Like, the point is, it runs on gas, but even then, I would imagine electricity doesn't do very good things to it. Maybe we cannot get blown away? Oh, crap. I don't think it even noticed. <laughs> That's not good. Second volley? Still not feeling it, guys. It's just running you over. It's not even bothering to fire the cannon, it's just treating you guys like a bunch of protesters. <laughs> oh, this was not what I was hoping for. I mean, maybe it's really low? Why aren't you guys aiming for the idiots on the back? They're obviously not wearing lightning proof vests. I heard from you guys in the comments that they had changed a bunch of the secret units, but I didn't think they would change the Da Vinci tank. Da Vinci, you look difference. You know, your cannons are longer, girthier. Good for you! <laughs> Managed to find himself some kind of little blue renaissance pill, but I, I was gonna say, we'll dial things back. Now, I know this thing doesn't exactly run on electricity, but even then, it'll be interesting to see what happens when we zap it. Unless it blows us up first. Okay, well, we've given him a bit of a light show, and he's off to the races! <laughs> okay, good. I gotta say, Lightning Archer, Pretty effective. Strictly for copyright reasons, this next unit is called Godzilla. And I know he looks like he wants to sing about how I love you and you love me, but it's like he's still 10 stories tall and breathes nuclear fire. Like they're gonna try their best to defend against him, but something tells me Grace is about to get burned in a whole lot less than a day. Why is Godzilla Fortnite dancing? <laughs> no! What what happened? Did he have a stroke? Come on, dudes! No, please, wait. Should I call life alert? What's happening right now? 
No, come on. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Where's the nuclear fire? You got this, bud. It's in the wrong alleyway. Great. That's just wonderful. So they're gonna stab you in the top of the head now. Maybe they'll manage to poke whatever is causing trouble up there. Except it tells me this isn't with strategic precision. Oh my god, what happened? Should I not have used him in the buildings? I figured he's Godzilla. You know, he, he stomps on buildings or blows them over. No, that's the big bad wolf. He, he, he does plenty, he's just dying. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's in pain. <laughs> this is easily the dumbest unit I've ever made. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the flailing legs, but he just looks like a toddler who's having a shit fit in a Walmart. Oh, come on. There we go. Get up, big guy. You got Even if you crush him, just roll around on them, right? You could just do a teddy flop and you should be able to take them all out. Is he even taking damage? I'm gonna try to take control of this situation. If I if I could just, come on, get up, big guy. Y you got this. You, no, he doesn't have this. I can't do anything. I'm controlling the legs now, can you tell? Here we go, Godzilla. Play to your strong suits. You've got the knees moving, so start making knee jam. They're right there, just drop the hammer, come on. He keeps farting them over the edge. Some more than others. Okay, we're straight up never gonna kill that guy or not. Maybe there's a chance of us actually winning this. It'd take like a million years. I feel like I wanna move on. This was a failed experiment. How about we give him some free space to roam around? I, I, I know I'm treating him like a dog in a lawn, but he clearly needs a little help. He's got the moves though, I'm telling you. All right, Godzilla, you could do this. Please, just step on something. No! What is wrong with his feet? I don't understand. Where, where's the fire going? It doesn't make any sense. How can I make a unit that can't stand up? That, that, that isn't my doing, right? At least it's not my fault. He's doing a little better this time, but again, I feel like we're just gonna be watching him have a fit for a while, so. We'll, we'll just consider it a moderate success. It's not the killing that matters, it's the laughs we had along the way. How about we try a unit that I'm sure many of you will recognize in Slender Man. You know, he's lanky, he's tall, he's got the suit and the white face, and the butthole penetrating tentacles, depending on who you ask. But most importantly, he's great YouTube clickbait. So I'm gonna do what happens in just about every horror movie and feed him a bunch of oblivious cheerleaders. I know they don't stand a chance, but that won't stop them from cheering. You go, girls. Be sure to pucker up because he's coming. Oh boy. <laughs> he's quite a bit faster than the Reaper. That's actually kind of creepy. I'll be the first to admit, I don't know a whole lot about Slender Man, but I'm willing to bet that there isn't much of a record of him fighting a horse. <laughs> or a fully grown man in armor for that matter. It seems like he just picks off people in the woods who are critical of his art. So let's see how he's gonna handle the wobbly-ness coming at him quick. Um, did he just kill the rider and the horse in one swing? How is that even possible? Well, the autopsy is fairly inconclusive. Like, the tentacle went through this guy's shield, through his armor, and killed him instantly. Which is crazy impressive, but I, I think the horse just died of terror? Well, mathematically, this isn't gonna be a fair fight, but maybe they can rush him? Like, if someone can survive and get in there? Nope. The answer's gotta be more horsepower. Really, I, I'm not trying to sound like Tim Allen here, but one of them has to get through eventually. Like, it doesn't matter how much static he puts up on the screen, one of them is gonna tag him and he shouldn't be able to survive a poking. You guys sure can't. Ooh, did we get him? I think we got him. Ooh, that's interesting. I was gonna say, he still proudly shows off the corpses of his victims, but I think once he runs out of tentacles, he just starts punching or purple nurpling or something. It's not quite as effective. Here's a good metric to measure him by. Can he survive one ballista bolt? One shot from the god killer. And you're only gonna get one shot, bud, so you better make it count. Ooh. I mean, 
the bolt technically didn't kill him. It was the fall, but <laughs> I'll take it. I have no doubt some of you guys knew that I wasn't gonna let Slenderman go back to being a piss baby in the woods without having him tear through the Shire first. <laughs> I just can't resist, it's gonna be so worth it. I flew them out to the big city just for this, just to see it out in the light, and I have no doubt he'll have an issue with his tentacles being limited. Oh right, I forgot he can spook people. It doesn't really matter when they've got the numbers, but still. <laughs> They're just making him crowd surf. Didn't expect to see this today for sure. He is getting them one by one, but at the same time, they're gonna pound his nuts into butter eventually. Come on, Slenderman, get out there. There you go, start swinging those gloved fists. <laughs> I really like that every now and then the tentacles get bored of their latest prize and just toss it aside for a new one. I wish that the spooking was more like area of effect. You know, they shouldn't be able to crawl up his cheeks just because he's not looking at them. <laughs> Come on, Slenderman, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not very befitting of a terrifying creature. You should not be able to get gang banged by a bunch of halflings. <laughs> what is happening? These tentacles keep going through the ground. Okay, he he's really dwindling their numbers now. There are only a couple of left. Maybe you can give one of them an uppercut? It's kind of difficult, I know, when they're only like ball height. You can't really get the upper motion. Okay, fine, tentacles. Just, just keep up the tentacles. That, that works for me. <laughs> I like that his punch is just, no, you're scared. <laughs> you can't run, guys. You could never run. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It took a little bit longer than I had hoped for, but it was worth it. Let's move on to an equally terrifying unit in bubbles. You know, I couldn't figure out why the unit creator was giving us a large inflatable hammer as a weapon. It doesn't seem all that effective, but then it dawned on me that Bubbles has been yearning to be created <laughs> so that he can destroy. You know, a bunch of peasants have come out to be entertained and they will certainly be entertained for a short period of time. <laughs> and then promptly turned inside out. Oh, it does have a little oh, heat when you hit. I like that. <laughs> yup, it still concusses people real easy though. Come on, Bubbles, you got this. I believe in you. Swing that stupid hammer. Oh, they actually got him. I, I can't believe the damn meddlesome kids. See how you little idiots feel when a clown car pulls up. You mess with one college graduate, you mess with all of us. <laughs> Come on, guys, make those stupid hammers bonk. Yes. They're not the flashiest unit or anything like that, but I like the fact that the unit creator kind of has like matching items. Like, I'm not gonna be the only person to create a clown. There's literally a clown outfit, clown hair, clown shoes, an inflatable hammer. The unit pretty much makes itself. Some of you guys may remember my greatest creation ever, Santa Claus. Well, he's brought his little helpers along now. You know, the elf got off the shelf and picked up its Uzis and now it's ready for blood. And it's gonna get it, because of course the medieval faction wants to put Christ back in Christmas, and they're all pissy, and trust me, Uzis are a whole lot more powerful than prayers. <laughs> Come on, Santa, you got this. The elves take a little while to reload. They're good at making stuff, but they're not good at fixing stuff. There we go. You got this, Santa. Easy peasy. Watch the friendly fire back there, elves, or you'll become reindeer meat next. Holy crap. If that's not totally accurate battle simulator in a nutshell, then I don't know what is. I just realized that Santa and his helpers cost almost exactly as much as Slenderman. Like, this matchup was meant to happen. I, I just don't feel very good about it. I'm pretty sure Santa is gonna go down, and then the elves will avenge him before celebrating their newfound freedom. Ooh. Yeah, oh, really? Slenderman's not very good at keeping a sure footing. I, I I know it's ice, but still, that's the second time he's just got punted off the level. We'll avoid any kind of home field advantage, okay? We won't do this in a creepy woods or the North Pole. Just in the streets, a whole bunch of guys sorting out their differences. Come on now, you can do it. Yeah, you see, he gets in there to fight. He can't penetrate Santa's butthole. No one can. The holly jolliness is coming for you now. Have you been a naughty boy? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that makes me so unreasonably happy. 
Did I forget to mention that I made a wombo combo of the two? Like, normally, Santa would be the one riding a sleigh. But when he's ridden, he just slays. So this unit is called Santa Sleigh. And I get the feeling with cheeks as puckered as his, they're gonna absolutely drop Slenderman like the expired YouTube trend that he is. <laughs> Come on, get up. There we go. Put up a fight. We're up those dukes. Now we're oh, talking. No, no, he got the elf. He got the elf. Don't run, Santa! Don't be afraid! You got this! I believe in you! Holy crap, this is actually gonna be a fight! I thought for sure the Uzis were gonna do it. That may have been my favorite Tabs fight ever. I can't believe he plucked the elf off his back! I know I did this in a past episode, but it's only fair that we have a rematch now that Santa's changed. We've got Santa Slay versus Jesus Christ. Winner takes Christmas. Come on, Santa, you got this, baby. You got the bullets. He's gonna make you pray, though. Ooh, yeah, you're not getting down on your knees for nobody, not even Mrs. Claus, come on. <laughs> Wait, oh no. Did the elves die of prayer? How is that even possible? I didn't think Jesus could damage people. Wait, what? <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> What's with the explosions? Oh, right, Jesus is a martyr. I forgot, when he dies, he takes people out with him. Come on, Santa, get in there. You gotta be able to go through the prayer circles. Yeah, there we go. Avenge the elves. I mean, there's no real avenging them. You could just hire more. I was about to ask, is this what it's like to accidentally make Renaissance art? But I'm kinda hung up on the question of what happened to some of their heads? Why are some of the elves headless? What did Jesus do? I was just thinking of testing Santa against some bigger units and realized we haven't seen the Minotaur in a while. And like, they cost just as much as one other. And I, I should probably mention, I'm not the one setting these prices. Like there's a little auto thing in the unit creator that kind of figures out how much a unit should cost based on the game itself. So this should be a fair fight. It's not gonna be. I would imagine some kid is gonna get some real weird meat for Christmas. <laughs> Come on, Santa, there we go. Okay, so we can take down one Minotaur. What if we just keep adding weird units on top of that? How about we have a Minotaur and a Jouster try to ruin Christmas? You know, like horses and cows, they've worked hand in hand for a long time. Probably never to ruin Christmas before, but still. I would imagine Santa is gonna have his claws full. Oh, the elf is down. The elf is in fact down, but Santa pulls it off. I really like the fact that they're treated like two individual units. How about a horse and a cow and a couple of raptors? I would imagine these three have never worked together. The cow and the dinosaur on the set of Jurassic Park, maybe, but never to ruin Christmas. Come on, Santa, oof. Santa really takes a low blow from the cow every single time. You know that hurts. Keep shooting, elf. Okay, well, he's long gone. He tried his best. Now it's gonna be up to you, Santa. You're the one who always has to hold down Christmas. I believe in you. How are you winning this right now? How are you this strong? It doesn't make any sense. He actually won. What do you mean? I'm so done. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Guys, I don't care what you have to say about Slenderman or Godzilla or any other monsters out there, Santa is an eldritch god and no one can prove otherwise. <laughs> if you guys wanna see more videos like this, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know I'm seriously loving the unit creator and I can't wait to make more ridiculous stuff. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.